Got your ass, nigga. Yeah, you thought I already did it once for the day and that was it, huh? No! You gotta always be prepared at all times. We had David Blaine here. I spent seven days on the water. Now, if you guys don't know who David Blaine is, he's a magician. A famous one at that. And, you know, he's, he's, he's accomplished a lot of amazing feats in his day. And, um, you know, I guess this is just another one that he supposedly did. Tomorrow, I spent seven days on the water. We're going to see how, how the hell you did that. This nigga trying to compete with me, nigga. I am the one and only Aqua, nigga. David Blaine was born April 4th, 1973, an asthmatic with a lower than average lung capacity. In spite of this, by the time he was a teenager, he had broken Harry Houdini's breath hold record of three minutes and 30 seconds. In 1997, a 23-year-old Blaine debuted his first television special, Street Magic. Fellow magician, Penn Gillette, declared it the biggest breakthrough in our lifetime and the best TV magic special ever done. Two years later, Blaine performed his first endurance stunt. He was buried alive for seven days and seven nights with no food. Theories such as the use of a hologram were so pervasive that even his friends began to wonder if it was fake. It was real. One year later, Blaine was encased in a giant block of ice in the heart of Times Square for three days and three nights. After 63 hours, suffering severe pain and extreme hallucinations, he was removed from the ice and rushed to the hospital. It took him months to recover. Damn. A year and a half later, Blaine stood on a pillar 22 inches wide and 100 feet tall above Bryant Park. After 35 hours, severely dehydrated and sleep deprived, he concluded the stunt by jumping down into a pile of cardboard boxes and suffered a concussion and a fractured rib. The following year, sealed in a plexiglass box suspended high in the air next to the Tower Bridge in London, Blaine fasted on nothing but water for 44 days. When it was over, Blaine's doctor, convinced that he had somehow cheated, administered an IV drip full of nutrients. His phosphate levels spiked and he nearly died. A short while later, he co-authored an academic paper about his feet with that very same doctor. Following this experience, Blaine wanted to go one step... <laughs> is this nigga serious, bro? Like, this is not even being a magician anymore. Like, this is just being a dumbass. Step further. After a vigorous year of training, he spent seven consecutive days in a water-filled sphere in New York City, the longest submersion underwater ever recorded. On the second day, the longest submersion underwater ever If y'all watch Naruto, you know what this reminds you of. ...ever recorded. On the second day, suffering from mild organ failure, Blaine rejected multiple attempts by his medical team to end the stunt. On the last day, while handcuffed, Blaine attempted a world record breath hold. Seven minutes in, he began blacking out, and divers jumped in to save his life. All right. Yeah, all right. Determined to succeed, hell? he trained relentlessly for the next two years. On April 30th, 2008, pushing through excruciating pain and ischemia to the heart, he shattered the world record by holding his breath underwater for 17 minutes and 4 seconds, live on the Oprah Winfrey Show. Over the next few years, Blaine shot a bullet into his mouth twice, withstood a million volts of electricity continuously for three days, and resuscitated an act that killed a man 100 years prior, involving swallowing a deadly amount of water and kerosene and spouting them out at will. He has also shoved an ice pick through his hands and biceps, sewed his mouth shut, 
and stored the same three frogs in his stomach thousands of times. Eaten over 30 things wait, 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 his was hands that the and biceps, sewed his mouth shut, and stored... Ah, he was kicking it with the goat. That's lit. That's lit as hell, bro. See, David Blaine is someone I can kick it with, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, I know this nigga's being a dumbass, but I would definitely love to see this nigga just do, like, you know what I'm saying, a magic trick. Like, I can, I, I, like I'm genuinely into this video right now. Oh, there y'all are. I'm genuinely into this video right now, man. It's crazy. Stored the same three frogs in his stomach thousands of times. Eaten over 30 pounds of glass. Performed thousands of breath holds, averaging 10 minutes each. And gained and lost the weight of six grizzly bears. There are those who say you're a magician. Why not just stick with magic instead of these feats? That was me. But David believes that pushing through the pain to achieve what seems impossible is a more gratifying form of magic. And though it's caused me a lot of worry over the years, I guess I have to agree with him. Alright man, that's it for this video. Make sure you guys hit the like and make sure you guys subscribe.